everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to start the construction of a leaning bookcase. You know, we've seen them in Target, uh, Pottery Barn, Container Store. <clears throat> Sometimes as much as $199, $250, it depends. It's one of those bookcases, as we can see here, it leans up against the wall, this being the wall and this being the floor. It's going to lean at about a six or a seven degree angle. I started with guessing that that angle at the bottom was going to be 10 degrees. But as it turned out, that wasn't. It turned out to be about seven. So with the bottom cut at seven degrees and up against the block, came to a door and then I said, okay, I want it to overlap. So this surface here I wanted to set up against the wall. So I just took and I just scribed the line. And that will be the angle that I'll remove. In this sequence we begin working on the shelves. Each shelf has a border along the left and right side and the back. Here I made a rough cut, clamped it to the workpiece, marked the final length and then made the final cut. All five shelves are made exactly the same way using my cross cut sled that I use for segmenting as well. Once they're cut to size, it's just a matter of applying Tight Bond 2 glue and clamping them up. This material is 3 quarter inch pine, and so I used 1 and a quarter inch brad nails to apply it. And before painting, I filled the, the nail holes with uh, wood filler. Again, all five shells are made exactly the same way, so we'll only show this one. The sides of the shelves are made exactly the same way. We've got two inch stock already cut to length, but I want to put a radius on the front corner, and I just use a bottle cap to draw a radius, and then I sand it off with my belt sander. And then it's just a matter of, again, putting tight bond to glue and uh, one quarter inch brad nails using my Ryobi 18 volt brad nailer. Again all five shells are made exactly the same way. And now we're going to prepare the sides to accept the shells and here I'm marking where I'm going to put the three quarter inch deep by two inch wide uh, dados so the shells can slip in. I just mark each one with an X so that we'll know. And now to get ready to cut them I will use my Rockler hold down on my Rockler T-Track table to hold everything steady. It does a great job. And here I'm setting my row the 18 volt circular saw to three quarters of an inch. And now using the lines we just scribed between the, the two inch dados, we cut parallel lines with our circular saw set at three quarters of an inch. Just cut a series of lines and then we'll come back and chip out with a chisel. We can just chip it away. We'll do this on all five dados on each side, both the left 
and the right side. And remember these dados, they're cut at six degree angles to match the foot that we had. And here we are cleaning it up again with a chisel. Some of this is a little tedious, but there's different ways to do this. And then the final, I sand it with uh, 150 grit sandpaper. And we just continue this process until we've got all 10 dados cut and sanded and ready to accept uh, the shells. You could use a router, but uh, I thought this was a different way to do it. Now we're ready to cut the angle on the portion that will lean up against the wall. I'm just going to use my circular saw following the line that we scribed at the beginning of the video. And we'll do that on the same one. Use this one as a standard, mark it, and cut the other one as well. Time to do some dry fitting. Make sure that the base is set up against the floor and the top part is flush against the wall. Should be that six degree angle. And then we'll insert the five shelves into the sides. I've already got the top and the bottom shelf in. And here what we're going to do is we're going to set the distance from the back of the shelf to the wall. I have a 5 8 inch spacer that I'm using to set the proper position for the shelves. And we get those set. We have to make sure again that the floor, the sides are up against the floor and up against the wall like it's supposed to fit. And then we clamp it all together to hold it in place. You can see here how those shelves sit in the dados that we cut. It really supports it nicely. You can also see a mark that I've got there. That's where we're going to drill a pilot hole to go through the side and the sides of the drawers to support the knockdown hardware that we talked about earlier. You can see here the one side has a 3 8 inch shank and the other has a quarter inch shank. So we'll drill a pilot hole of 1 8 inch like we see here and then I'll disassemble it and I'll drill the 3 8 inch hole in the sides and the 1 quarter inch holes in the shelf sides. Uh, I'll do those off camera but the holes have to line up in order for the hardware to work. Once we get that done and I get those holes drilled and then we will be ready to do some painting. Before final assembly, I'm applying non-skid material on the bottoms that sits against the floor and then I'm going to apply self-adhesive cork on the surface that will lean up against the wall to prevent from scratching the wall. And now for the final assembly, we'll put the knockdown hardware in. We'll place the shelves and we've, where the two holes line up. We place the bolt in on the inside and the cap goes on the outside and using our allen wrenches we just tighten it up and we'll repeat the process for the other side and repeat that for all five shelves. Well here's our little bookcase, our leaning bookcase. It sits about seven and a half, eight inches away from the wall, leans at a six degree angle up against the wall and uh, five shells 14 inches apart each one two inches smaller the bottom being about 13 and a half and top being about five and a half so it was a pretty simple project but yet there's some techniques in it that somebody may have never done before cutting these three quarter by two inch dados with a circular saw using the knockdown hardware uh, can really do a lot of things with the knockdown hardware. There will be a link down in the description for, uh, for the things that we used. The, the Ryobi circular saw, the uh, knockdown hardware, and uh, some of the other things. There will be links in the description for all that, as well as links 
to all my social media, my Instagram, my Facebook, my website. By, by the way, watch for my website. It's coming soon. It's been redesigned and we'll have a, a shopping cart in it so, and some of the things that we make will be on the shopping cart. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. We enjoyed making it. And in just a minute, there'll be a few photographs of this bookcase once it's in use and once it's been installed. We well, hope you liked the video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Like our video. Leave us a comment. And if you're a new viewer, subscribe to our channel. We're approaching 1,000 subscribers. As of this one, it's about 850, I think. So, and at 1,000, I'm going to have a giveaway. So you'll be watching for that. And we appreciate you tuning in and look forward to the next time. And until then, be safe.